Hey guys, here we're again in this video. I want to share with you guys uh, my experience with the PlayStation 4 Remote Play app that has been cracked and released uh, for other devices that are not Sony Xperia phones. Uh, keep in mind, this is not going to work better than playing it on Xperia phone because this is made to play on a Sony Xperia phones. But uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and show you guys how it works. And before we, I show you guys how it works for me. I'm gonna show you guys uh, where you can download this app and read about this story. You know, go to Android Authority. I'm gonna leave a link to Android Authority website uh, to this um, article right here where they explain how it works for them and all of that. And right here they have the instructions on how to install it, which is very very easy. All you gotta do is install the Remote Play port. When you click on it, it's gonna take you right here and when you go right there just go ahead and download it when you download it make sure you use um I, right now i use es explorer but you can use any i think any one you you want and right here when you open the file it's going to be right there like you see it's going to be right there and all you got to do is tap on it and install right now since i already have it installed i'm not going to show you guys how to do that um but and other than that, to make the DualShock 4 controller work, um, there's another option here, DualShock Manager APK. Download that as well. See if it works for you, because I followed these instructions for me, and it doesn't work for me. So uh, right now, this video, I'm just going to show you guys how it works. Uh, we're just using the screen, no controller whatsoever. So the first thing you want to do is uh, click here next. Uh, this is to register the DualShock 4 controller. But since it's not working for me, I'm not going to show you guys that. But right here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit connect. And there you go. Look how fast it connects. Uh, that's why. That's because my PlayStation 4 is turned on right now. Um, I already tried this a, a couple times already, and it works very, very good. Um, if your PlayStation 4 is turned off, it will turn it on. It's gonna take a little bit longer to turn on. Like you see, there it connected very, very fast. But at first, it's gonna take a long time to turn on because you're gonna you're gonna have to enter the play your PlayStation ID, your PlayStation password, and your username. And once you do that, it's gonna look for the PlayStation online. Then it's gonna connect. So it's gonna take a while. But like you see, there works pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys here with a game, uh, Elysium, which is a very good game to play. Very friendly game to play with on um, touchscreen. And you see here you got the controls. There we go. Oh crap, motherfucker. And everything here is visible. Like you see here, the thumbsticks, you don't see it right now. But you, once you put the, the your finger on the screen, you can see the you can see the thumbstick and also the right one as well. Okay. And you here you got the sticks. Oh great, I used my health there. <laughs> everything everything is functioning perfectly. If you tap right here, you got the PlayStation button right there. Oh very cool. Look at that. And you also have the record button right here. The share button and you have the option button right there. Option. Oops, take you to the option. I'll uh, record. Tap right there twice, and look at that, it starts recording the video. Just like it would on the PlayStation 4 controller. Hey, can I kill these? Nope, I can't. Looks <laughs> like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. Let's go ahead. Nope. I sense them. Don't worry. I'm gonna skip this for some gameplay. Oh shit. <laughs> it's another one! They're persist much as I'm just skipping. I just want to show you guys how it works here. I see somebody over there. So like you see, it works very good. But these type of games is going to work perfectly because uh, these indie games are easy. Side scrollers and all that. Um, the more... The more, the more demanding games like the Dying Light and all that, and the crew racing games, those are gonna be a little bit more difficult. You're gonna, to have a better experience, you're gonna have to use um, 
the DualShock 4 controller. But it's still possible. It's still powerly crap. I'm not going to beat this sucker right now. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. Did I do something here? No. I got killed there. <laughs> yeah. So like you see there, works very good here with touchscreen games. Well, they're not touchscreen games, but like you know, they're they're very playable here. Uh, now let's go ahead and show you guys another game here. Like for example, uh, uh, M WWE. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and wait for this to load up. Okay, so here uh, we are trying out um, this game right here, which is uh, the WWE game. Just wanted to show you guys how a little bit challenging is going to be playing here with the without the controller. But like you see here, let me go ahead. He beat me there, and he beat me there again, and he beat me there again. <laughs> Most of the times he wouldn't be beating me like that. Right there, he got tied up again. Let's see if I beat him here. Oh, he beat me there again. This time I beat him. You see that? And I beat him again. You see there? Oh, yeah, we got tied up again. Yeah, Beto. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. <laughs> Pure power, just physically dominant, and I think he's begging him to bring it. Speaking of edge of spear, I'll never forget how much he got spear. But like I can see, it's a little bit hard playing it without. With all playing it with the DualShock controller, with the screen, and you have all the buttons there, but it's not the same. It's never going to be the same experience at all. There you go. This time I got it timed correctly. Right. I got that correct. You see that? Oh, he got me. He saw that one coming. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I cannot believe Edge got out of that one. He's in big trouble. Okay, is there a more active game in all sports entertainment than the rated R superstar? I mean, here's a guy in Edge who doesn't care who's going yeah. And of course, if I want to run, I should be able to press. Let me see. And he gets back in. No, I guess I could. Got his opponent. What's he going for here? There you go. <laughs> that did it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Nice. 
Let's see if I can do the finisher here. There we go. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> reversed it. He reversed it. He reversed it. Well, like you saw right there, I almost got the finisher done. And right there, I, I successfully did a reversal there. Let's go ahead and try to win there. Oh, a little bit. Batista's got him. And it's Ooh. Batista with the reversal. I remember the first time I saw the genetic freak Batista in the ring. I knew he would be special. But like I said, I had no idea he would reach. Oh crap. He got me now. There you go, he beat me. That's it. <laughs> so like you saw there, very, very cool. It works uh pretty decently on the PlayStation from PlayStation uh, 4 to the note. Four. Oh, pretty good. PlayStation 4 to Note 4. Uh, it plays very good, especially when you're playing um, a little bit less demanding games like um, indie games. Uh, works a lot better with those indie games. Uh, AAA games like this and a lot more power, uh, a lot more controller-free games like this one. You need a lot, a lot of combination. You can, you might have problems with those games. Like you see here, I still was playing the game and I was still, I still land, got to land the signature and and uh, the finisher. I got the finisher, but he overturned it. So that's part of the game. You know, that's part of the game. That's not a, a an, an error from this app. So I would say this app actually works very very good uh, let's go ahead here go ahead back to the home screen again so that's it guys just want to share with you guys how this app works here on the note 4 using the leaked cracked uh, PlayStation 4 remote play video uh, app and not bad but like I said I was not working for me with the DualShock controller if it did it would work a lot better uh, the connection would be a lot better. The controlling the games would have been a lot better as well. Uh, another thing you can also another thing to keep in mind is that when you use this game, um, this app on your phone, it is recommended to have to be a 4.4 Android and above, and it's also recommended for you to use um, um, a router that's a 5.0 gigahertz. Um, this I'm um, right now I'm using 5.0 gigahertz, so because my router is a dual band, so I'm on the 5.0 gigahertz, but it's it's still possible to play on on the 2.4. It is still possible, but it's recommended 5.0. Um, but that's it, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Like I said, it works very good. It's not going to work better than Xperia phones, but it works. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.